Okay, guys, so this is the how to S5 your S3. So as we know, we will just continue with this. I will keep talking. So what we're going to do first is um, download Titanium Backup, and that is simply to um, make doing this exercise a little bit easier. So we're going to click in Titanium, Titanium Backup, Star Root. So we're going to install this. If you enjoy this app, this is a root only app, meaning it will not work. It will not get past opening if you don't have root. So if you followed my previous video or any other video about rooting your device, you should be perfectly fine. But otherwise, if you haven't rooted, check out my previous video, which I will link in the description. And we will, um, I will highly consider recommending to um, upgrade to the pro version because it is um, it allows you to have unlimited amounts of automated backup schedules. So you can do backups, you can remove files, you can um, freeze files. So we're going to actually grant it real quick so it doesn't run out. So granted, SQLite, and this app requires BusyBox to be installed as well. So always have BusyBox installed. It should be app number three on your rooted phone. SuperSU, root checker, BusyBox, always. So we're going to OK. Thank you, people at Titanium. We're going to OK because I know the changes. System settings may cause problems. So we're going to do that real quick anyway because we need to. Um, so this is this is all good. So we're going to scroll down, go into settings, and then go more, security, and then unknown sources is checked. So that's good. Then we will do um, to get developer options because they've hidden now. So we're going to go in, click on build number, you are 43210 steps. Now, developer options have now been turned on, as you can see. So click on developer options, and then we're going to click on USB debugging. It's intended for development purposes only. Whatever, you're good, OK? So always in, uh, enable developer options and USB debugging and unknown sources installation, because if you just have an APK file, it makes it easy. So. As you know, last time we installed Kit, uh, last time we rooted and the time before that, we installed KitKat on your phone. So what we're going to do today is, um, no, thank you. I know you have it. So what we're going to do today is um, S5 your S3. So first we're going to, if you, from the first video, from the how to install KitKat tutorial, it will be um, the S5 experience folder that I linked in the description for you to download. It's this time. This time we're going to use it. So yes. So what I'm doing now is putting the files from it onto my phone. So real quick, just drag and drop the unzipped folder S5 experience into root of storage and it should be good. Just unplug and let's get going. Okay. So we have titanium. We need one more file. We need one more thing and it's a file explorer. Anyway, I personally prefer and swear by solid explorer because um, Christoph Gladowski, I think that's how you pronounce his name. He is an amazing developer. This is an amazing file explorer. And even though the trial is 30, it's a, the free trial app is a 30 day usage. The um, Solid Explorer Unlocker, which I never understood why it's the third one, um, is worth the up to, I think it's up to $5. I don't remember because I bought it over a year ago. It is the best purchase I've ever made for this phone because Samsung's File Explorer does not get you to the root of storage. The root of the storage. So you can't access the system partition, which is what we need to do for this video. You can't access your um, dot date, your slash data partition. It, it allows full access. It's a rooted, you can use it unrooted. It is, it is a gorgeous File Explorer. It's very simple. It's very easy to use. So we're just going to go into the apps and click on Solid Explorer just to get it running. So Solid Explorer. So yes, so good. We, there's a quick start guide. I recommend you check it out. It now has Chromecast support, so you can install the plugin that was the third one when you search Solid Explorer. So you, if you have a Chromecast, you can search your files and play movies directly from it through Chromecast. So click it, and we're good. So what we're going to do is... um check see s5 experience good and it will have the um, mymagazine.apk and seclauncher.apk you can see the pictures because they are built for 4.4 4. 
As you may remember from the S5, the My Magazine section is a little bit to the left of the home screen that's kind of like Blink Feed for HTC's one series of phones. So, and then this sec launcher will replace our stock launcher because currently we have the um, normal pages, normal icons, nothing special, and they loop around, right? Nothing special here, nothing. This is the 4.3, the 4.1, the 4.0 launcher. This is the launcher it came with. We're gonna give it a new launcher. So what we're going to do is, first I'd like to mention that I linked the article where I found how to do this in the description down there. I recommend you go check it out if you're not sure about it, or if you want to share people this video or the article itself to let them know how to do it. I recommend doing that because it's a very, very nice launcher and it's a very, very nice feature. And it's very easy too. I will show you. So what we're going to do is, since we know we have those folders, what we're going to do is go into Titanium Backup. We're going to look for, going to click on the magnifying glass and, kick, and type in launcher. And it will search. So what we have here is the uh, TouchWiz Home 4.4.2 L710VPUDND8, which is this version of Android's stock TouchWiz launcher. So we're going to make a quick backup, just in case anything goes wrong. So we're going to back it up. You can do this in the free version. So Titanium backup is complete. So that's great. And then what we're going to do is uninstall it. We're going to uninstall. Warning the system package is tied to the ROM. So see, it would show itself as seclauncher2.abk. What we're going to do is, um, actually no, we cannot uninstall it yet. The big thing for this one, you need a replacement home screen, a third party launcher. What we're going to do is go back into the Play Store my favorite launcher, besides the uh, currently the stock TouchWiz launcher, surprisingly, is um, Nova Launcher. So what we're going to do is uh, search for Nova and then click on it as a result, and we're going to install. The free version is great. I also recommend the $5 paid version because you can set up almost any kind of home screen you want. The only home screen that I found that has more customizability by the user, not by themes, and by features is a uh, lightning launcher, which I also recommend you check out because it is, it is just, it just takes a lot more setup than Nova. So we're going to use Nova and we're going to open it. We're going to hit menu, sorry, out of frame. So we're going to hit menu and then Nova settings. So previous launcher, open recent and swipe it away. We're going to just swipe away. As you can see, the touch was home. We're just going to clear play store, titanium, solid and settings go back into, into this one, and we're going to select default home, and we're going to select Nova for always, okay? Because we're going to be removing TouchWiz Home Launcher. So we're going to go into apps, and this is how it looks stock. I haven't restored any settings. We're going to go into Titanium Backup again, and we're going to clear the notification, go away. I realize it backed up. Okay, good. So it still kept our search result for launcher, right? So we're going to go into the TouchWiz Launcher. We're going to uninstall Reread the warning. Do you want to uninstall it? Duh. Okay. So it uninstalled TouchWiz Home. This is still installed, so we have a home to go to. See, I press the home button. It's the default. Okay. Now we're going to go into Solid Explorer, or whatever file explorer you choose, if you have a favorite. Thank you for purchasing, which will show up the second time you open it. We will, um, because it has a dual panel interface, like so swipe sideways to interact right so we're going to open the s5 experience in one and then we're going to go back to go to the storage and then the storage hub and then one more time to get to the system root touchwiz does not include a file explorer that does this because this is a root area so what we're going to do is go and scroll down into system app scroll down to try and find sec launcher 2.apk so ignore everything else it's like ooh these are applications that i have on my phone good but leave them alone you don't want to um upset anything that you don't have to okay so sec launcher is gone that's good that's great okay so see so no sec launcher at all so what we're going to do is scroll back to our S5 experience panel and so click on the icon to select it and then we're going to tap and hold 
and we're going to copy to, and the arrow means opposite panel. Copy to opposite panel. Are you sure you want to copy this to the opposite panel slash system partition slash app of the system? And we want to select yes, because this will become our system launcher. Because it's, it's a system file, we have to grant super user access. So grant before the timer runs out. Uh, file copy has been completed. So let's check to make sure. See, sec launcher. Good, good, good. We're going to hit home. My magazines will come into use in a bit. So what we're going to do is uh, press and hold power and restart the device. So this will, what we're going to do is essentially set up the uh, S5 launcher. I found the APKs extracted from the S5 system dump files and you can use them on any TouchWiz ROM that has 4.4.2. No 4.3, only 4.4.2. Only KitKat will work for this because that's the way Samsung designed it because KitKat is the first version to have the Mime Magazine compatibility, right? Okay. For those of you that don't know, Mime Magazine is a um, blink feed similar feature in the uh, Galaxy S5. It allows you to link your Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, LinkedIn, and other miscellaneous things. Okay, so we are in this one. Going to click home. No, we're going to go into uh, menu, Nova settings. We're going to check to see if um, uh, a default launcher popped up. See, we have a different logo, but it says touch with home. So we're going to select that, but not yet. So we're going to go back just to check to make sure that installed. So we're going to go into apps. We're going to scroll over to solid Explorer. We're going to uh, scroll down to S5 experience and my magazines, we're going to click the description area and it's going to take us to this with um, unknown sources checked. We can do this. If it comes up with un don't trust unknown sources, go into settings to change it, change it, and then click on it again and you'll get this. So device access, it will need to get to S Flipboard. My magazine is synced partly with Flipboard. Run its startup because it's your launcher, okay? So we're going to install. It's going to install. It may take a while because it's installing system. So you can't open it because it's a part of a launcher that you can't physically open. It's not an application. It's a feature. So we're going to click done. We're going to click home. Okay. So when we press home, we will have to choose our default launcher. So I'm going to do touch with home and then click always. Clear default by doing that. Okay. And we are, okay, okay, it's empty. So I will quickly set this up and then come back. Be right back. Okay, so this is probably what you're used to. This is usually the main screen you get when you boot up your S3 for the first time on the normal launcher. But let's check something. So you remember how there were dots along here, nothing special. We have a, oops, excuse me. We have a um, home, which is the first screen, which will get when you press home, it defaults you to the screen, it's your home screen. So we have got that, we have got a screen over here, we've got a screen over here. And this is just residual stuff from the uh, previous launcher, the SEC launcher 2.APK, the stock launcher that comes on it. So because it recognized this is a touch with launcher, this is SEC launcher.APK, let's load the data. Okay. So what I didn't mention was the little bars over here, and that's the My Magazine section. So we're going to scroll over, focus, and then scroll over. It'll lag a little bit. So I'm going to take you through the setup because my magazine, your personal magazine that delivers content based on your interests requires a network connection, which I have um, Wi-Fi, full bars, lovely. Um, if you don't use Wi-Fi, it can incur stuff. So it's going to load. And this is first time setup. So if you don't care about this, you can just skip ahead. We're going to click agree to use it and click agree because Flipboard has to use your stuff, right? And this is my magazine. So you can see the little buffering circles in each corner before they load the um, articles that you have. Okay. So if you need to change anything, you have the little dots up here, or you can press menu. So we're going to press menu. Actually, we're going to close it. We're going to press dots. We're going to go to settings. And then in here, you can um, choose to auto refresh on opening, which I will because it's very nice to not have to pull down because you have to pull down quite a way just because. So you can check or uncheck boxes here to show or hide specific sections of the news. 
So if I don't care about sports, I can uncheck it, go back, and the sports section is gone. So let's go back. Let's, um, let's get rid of business as well. Get rid of arts and culture. Ah, let's keep arts and culture. I care about that. And add science and technology because I love technology. So do you if you're watching this. So here's where it gets nifty. So Flipboard, as you know, has the issue, has the uh, capability to link with your uh, Facebook and Twitter accounts to show you feeds of them along with the news that you have and follow. So with my magazine, you can link your 500 pics, Flickr, Google+, LinkedIn, Twitter, Tumblr, Sina, Weibo, Renren, and YouTube. All of these will show up. So let's click uh, Google+, Twitter, and YouTube. Hit back. And they show up down here. So you have to log in. So if you tap, you have to log in. And I will do this really quickly. And I will be right back with this. But anyway, um, the big deal with this is that you can have all of your Flipboard stuff in one place on your home screen. Sorry for the silence, uh, typing. So authorize app. Okay. Pretend it worked. It'll show up there. And when you click on it, it takes you into your Twitter feed or into the Twitter app that you have installed. I don't have one, so it will probably go through here. Or it opens in Flipboard. So let's click science and technology to show you what I mean. Clicked Flipboard. It opens the story that you clicked on. But if you don't happen to care about the story you clicked on, you can just hit back to Flipboard. Back to Flipboard. Yes, I realized. Thank you. So back to Flipboard home. Next, next, whatever. And you're back in Flipboard. So it takes you to Flipboard. My Magazine is a very nice, beautiful looking extension to Flipboard. So if you, um, and every time you do this, you don't have to have Nova installed anymore. So you can uninstall Nova Launcher. So anyway. To uh, wrap this video up, I'm going to say thank you for watching. Thank you for putting up with me for this one, because this, I realize, was a long, lengthy, kind of stumbling over myself kind of video. But I feel that everyone that watches this and does this will be very, very happy with the result and will be more than happy to download the files and share them with their friends. So from me to you through YouTube and to another day, I will see you later. Please reshare, like, favorite, and follow me on all of the social media that you want to or feel comfortable, and I will catch you guys later. Have a great day.